to Rome today on a tennis trip. It's gonna be amazing. I already know it, so keep watching. We're on the car right now. It's like we're it's <laughs> crazy. Um, but it's 6:30 and our bus leaves at 7. So then we have to drive like all the way there, obviously. This is future Grace. I'm gonna be popping in throughout the video just to give a little bit of extra details about some of the stuff that I kind of glossed over when I was making the actual video. So first, I've got some contextualization, if you know what I mean. If you're in AP history classes, you know, we got some, you know, background info. That's basically what it means, but anyway. We were going to Rome, but we weren't the only ones going to Rome, so obviously we were meeting the Rome team, but we were also meeting the Siganella team because Sig was coming up with their volleyball team and stuff, so like they they just wanted to get out of there before volleyball ended and everything. We were trying to play Siganella mainly because we're going to see Rome again when we go back to Naples. It's a long story, but we're going to Rome to play Siganella. We got down there and we were about to get on the bus, PT started, and like they were going they were going crazy, like it was hyping me up. I was like, yeah. I'm currently in my school's bathroom and we're about to leave on the bus. I went into the school to go to the bathroom, but in actuality, I was just turning an assignment into like my teacher's bin or whatever. And you can hear in the background of the clip, it's like my counselor, he's like yelling, he's like, what are you doing? And I, I was just like, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's that's interesting, but I, I don't think he really cared. Uh. Oh, yes, PT is going on right now. That's hilarious. Let's go. The moon is still out. chill but we have lots of extra time since we can't actually do anything until 5 30. when we got to our first stop they were like oh yeah we can just spend as long as we want here because we were so hardcore trying to waste time since we couldn't actually get on base until 5 30 p.m basically that meant that we couldn't play anybody on friday and we had to do like all of our games on saturday and if you know tennis it takes quite a while i don't know something about the bus scheduling they couldn't change the time so basically we were doing a five hour trip in 10 hours that blue one that says tours that is our bus <laughs> Man, do I love wasting time. Uh, I'm just here alone because I don't know what else to do. I was kind of bored waiting, but it's okay because when we get back in the bus, we're still just going to be waiting, basically. I think I'm going to try to scare Sam because he's in the bathroom right now. So I'm going to stand like right here-ish and he'll come around and it might work. Let's see what you do with it. Boo! Hello, darkness, my old friend. It was stop number two and we were literally half an hour from Rome, half an hour from the school and they were like, let's just strand you guys here. And so we ate lunch at like this really small place. It was kind of sad. Hey guys, I'm here with my sandwich on the bus. We're currently stopped for two hours because we're basically at Rome. You know what, I can take my mask off because no one's here. <sighs> yeah, I came in here to get some water, you know, for this. So it's, it's amazing so far, you know, got nothing much to say. Can't wait to actually be there though. I'm in the bathroom here at this gas station and we've been here for so long, but I think we're leaving soon, so hype. and we could see the building and stuff, 
but they wouldn't let us in one particular gate. So no hate to Rome, of course. This was probably our bad. We went in the wrong gate initially, so we had to like drive half an hour all the way back around to the correct gate. And once we got in, they had to take our temperatures and they hadn't done this in when we went to Naples, but I honestly think it's a good idea to take our temperatures. They wrote down our names and everything, so it was pretty secure. Quickly blew up my air mattress before we had to head to the store. On the way to the supermarket, there was this super, super cute cat. We named him Hazelnut. We're getting breakfast food for tomorrow before we head to dinner. The haul from the grocery store consisted of some rice cakes, which had like nice chocolate on top, and some blackberries, which was I think a good breakfast for before a game. My air mattress is all blown up and we're about to go to dinner. Then for dinner, we went to this really nice Italian place and my pasta there was so good. I love spicy stuff, so I got like the pepperoncini pasta. Oh. I will see you all tomorrow. We're about to go to bed right now, but tomorrow's when we actually play our games and I'm super hyped actually do that because that's why we're here. We're about to go play our matches after we eat breakfast, so I'll let you know how it goes. After deflating my air mattress, eating breakfast, all that stuff, I went outside and took a walk around the campus alone so that I could get some shots for you guys because I think it's a really nice campus. It's super cool. I think it's K through 12. my first match and it was a singles match and I think the girl and I were very evenly matched but I lost it's okay we were playing no ads though so like every time it was deuce I would lose the next point and then that would lose me the whole match and it was honestly a little depressing but it's okay because I still have a doubles match and I feel like we can do it <laughs> famous last words though am I right oh also I ate lunch and like it was pretty good yeah I enjoyed it, it was Pokeball. So we were supposed to be playing against Siganella's number one doubles, but we ended up playing against Rome's number one doubles and it was super close, but we lost. So now I'm gonna shower. All of volleyball and Siganella tennis already left, so we're about to leave too. Bye. goodbye to hazelnut before we hopped back onto the bus and the bus ride home was okay we only took one stop for dinner and we ate at old wild west because it was the only place open and that was all right but i didn't vlog that because i was just mainly tired and wanted to be home no the kitty uh, yeah. goodbye uh, kitty all I have to say right now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you are sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye! Because the Siganella team only had like two boys, my brother wasn't able to play, but these are some pictures that Sam took of me playing, so I'd like to thank him for taking them, obviously. It was a great trip. We have one more trip, but I don't think I'm gonna vlog it because we already went to Naples. So yeah, I hope that gives you a good idea about how tennis trips are.